The purpose of this video is to show you how to obtain the apical 2, 3, and 5 chamber views. We will first describe how to obtain the views and will then provide some tips to optimize the view. For this view, the patient should be positioned on the left lateral side and if possible the left arm should be elevated and crossed under the patient's head to open the intercostal spaces and allow you to position the probe laterally. You can be standing on each side of the bed, but make sure that the machine is positioned in a way that you can access it to be able to change the settings or do some measurements. Also ensure that you are in a comfortable position with the screen facing you. To obtain the apical 5 chamber view, start from the apical 4 chamber view and tilt the tail down. To obtain a better alignment for Doppler measurement through the LVOT, you may have to slide laterally or medially. To obtain the apical 2 chamber from the apical 4 chamber, make sure to keep the LV in the middle of the screen and then rotate between 30 and 60 degrees counterclockwise. You should not see any of the RV. The marker should be oriented towards the patient's axilla. If the apex is not well seen, try to slide within the same intercostal space in the same axis. If you see part of the RV, rotate more counterclockwise. If you see the aortic valve, rotate clockwise. If you lose the opening of the atrium, you may have to tilt either way to reopen it. A good landmark to indicate that you have an appropriate view is to visualize the left atrial appendage. If the axis of your two chamber is too oblique from one side, usually with the left atrium towards the right lower corner of the screen. Try to rock the probe with a marker looking upwards. If the resolution is not optimal, remember to slide millimeter by millimeter on the skin until you obtain a good definition. Sliding within the same intercostal space may also help. To obtain the apical 3 chamber, continue rotating counterclockwise from the apical 2 chamber the marker should be pointing towards the right shoulder. You may have to tilt slightly towards the left of the patient to open up the left ventricular outflow tract. You may also have to re-optimize your rotation to open up the LVOT.
If you tilt the ultrasound beam towards the patient's right, on the other hand, you will get the apical RV inflow view. Similarly, as for the apical two chamber, if the axis of your th three chamber is too oblique from one side, usually with the left atrium towards the right lower corner of the screen, try to rock the probe looking upwards. This concludes our video on how to obtain the apical two, three, and five chamber views. Remember to only do one motion at a time and very small movements as it significantly changes the plane scanned.